What is happening and welcome to another episode of Photography Talk. And friends, this week we're exploring the next chapter of our 2022 Canvas Print Shootout. Now, if this is your first video, if this is your first experience with one of our, uh, our shootouts, let me share with you, uh, give you some kind of underlining what to expect with this video. This is the third or fourth year that we've been doing this. One of the reasons uh, why we do these sort of videos is to help people make more educated decisions in terms of if you're going out there looking for a canvas print for either yourself or a client or a loved one, you can view these, these uh, reviews and at the end of the review, because I'm gonna crack open these prints in front of you. I'm gonna share with you everything from the packaging to the color to the frame, literally A to Z on every single print. Now you may agree with my opinion, you may not, but at the end of the day, the whole purpose premise behind these is if you go out there and spend your hard earned money on a print like this, heck, you know what your dollar's going to get you. That said, you know, look, we put these videos together to well, if you haven't noticed, to help you. Now, of course, if we are successful and you find some value or hell, friend, you just want to do a solid and hit that like button because as I keep saying in every single video, that YouTube algorithm really digs it when you do that. And of course, so do we as well. So you're helping out the channel. That said, now, one thing I do want to point out is depending upon when you're watching this video, we might not have crowned the winner of 2022. Now, right now, where we are right now, we have not. So if you wanna keep tabs on uh, where we're at with the other companies that we have reviewed for that particular year, for, that, for this particular year, or if you go back to previous ones, go down in the description below this video, you'll see links to all the other reviews. Then ultimately what's gonna take place is when we crown the winner of 2022, we're gonna put a link down there uh, as well. And I've gotten some questions from uh, folks on one of the last reviews that we did in terms of why don't we put these all in a single video so you don't have to keep watching all these little bite-sized videos. Well, we did for the first couple years, we put video, we just simply made a single video that had all the reviews in it. The problem is the first year it was like 45 minutes long. The second year it was over two hours in length because we review last year, I think there was 11 companies that we reviewed. So even if you're just flying through these things, it's very easy for that time to, to uh, kind of rack up a little bit. So we started doing bite-sized little digestible, easy to digest rather videos like the one that you're gonna watch here. So for the most part, we can get through these things in under 15 minutes. And that makes it much easier. If you want to, for example, we're gonna be reviewing Cam. Ooh, almost dropped that canvas HQ here today. Um, if you're interested in one of the prints, you don't have to watch two hours of other uh, videos or reviews to see whether or not this is the right print for you. So you can just click on this video, watch it, and know what to expect. That said, friends, let's let's shift gears here. Let's uh, let's crack this sucker open here. So canvas HQ is no stranger to these reviews. One of the things that I've always enjoyed about these reviews, or I'm sorry, the uh, Camus HQ packaging is this fragile glass. And then it says, uh, well, not really, but it's still fragile. Yuck, yuck. I don't know, kind of corny, but I like it. I don't know where my knives are. Actually, I do. It's down in my truck, so I'm forced to using scissors until I get them back up here. Okay, so here we go. So the packaging is a little bit different from previous years, um, but it is, from what I can see, it is quite secured in there. So this print is recessed in between the sides, and you can see, the, and if, again, this is your first video watching, I talk about the importance of shipping packaging uh, because, you know, look, if you're, especially if you're drop shipping this, uh, to someone, this print now becomes an extension of who you are it, or who you are as a professional. And if a print isn't secure, that it's shimming around, it creates kind of white spots up against or up underneath the belly of a print itself. 
This case right here, you can see this print is locked down really well. There's tape on all sides and additional tape running along the top of the cardboard here, which is a bonus. Let's put this down there. So that is that. All right, and so you can see the rest of the print is kind of tucked away inside a plastic bag. I'm not going to complain because plastic bag, we have our receipt, we have the thank you for trusting us, we have your, okay, where to reach them on social media and a bit of a, bit of a, um, a survey thing on the back. Okay. Alrighty, so as I've said in a few of the other videos that we've done here uh, this year, uh, I licensed this image um, mainly for a variety of reasons. There's a this big blue section down here and it had different sections throughout that I could kind of temperature check uh, sharpness um, and colors and all that other fun stuff. So one of the first things I'm doing here is I am reviewing over the colors, which I can tell you right now, look pretty good. Um, the sharpness, where is, okay, let me grab a pencil or a pen thing here. So this has a plastic tip, so I'm not gonna do any harm here. So the colors look really fantastic, look actually really rich around the pink here, and these, these uh, water droplets on the lily pads here. Um, it looks really, really, this actually looks really well. And of course, now I'm going to switch gears and look at the corners. You'll see a lot of companies, what they will do is the, the corners start getting really sloppy. It doesn't look nice. Um, and I can tell you the corners look pretty good here are they are they perfect no but they look pretty good and this is what I was talking about uh, during the shipping process if a if a print is kind of sliding around and so forth usually right around the edge you'll get these little white spots and so forth and that's just from the print shimming around inside the box. The canvas is tight. Okay, now we're gonna shift it over. Well, actually, we'll, we'll discuss the frame next. So this is one of the things I like to see. I like to see bracing. Now, I seem to remember in the past they had a center brace going through. It looks like they are no longer doing that, but they have corner bracing, which is which is nice. There's quite a bit of excess material on the back, which you know is minor because it's going to be up against the wall. But if you're looking at it from here, it does yeah you know, a little sloppy. But here's one of the things. <laughs> it's funny the. Uh, I talk about staple frequency, and a, and a handful of you have always voiced concerns as far as, okay, 
how you know how many staples do you really need? These guys really they're always at the top of the list in terms of staple frequency. So let's uh, uh what? <laughs> literally this year somebody went really happy with the uh, the staple frequency because it's literally staple on staple, literally almost touching each other here. So this is uh this is gonna be this is gonna take me a minute here to count these. Forty-eight, and there was a couple last-minute ones there uh, because the that that excess canvas that we were talking about there. That what they did was they they just used a couple additional staples right down here and stapled it to the bracing down there. That's a lot of staples. I actually think that's uh, no. I think last year uh, that was sixty, but that was also a larger print. Uh, mounting hardware, okay. Okay, we are to mounting hardware is plumb. It's quite secure. Overall, a pretty decent print. And then again, Chemist HQ has one the chemist print shootout over the last uh, handful of years. These guys, I, I had high expectations for them and the print, there's a few things that stood out a little bit this year that I haven't seen before. They're missing the center bracing. There's a bit of excess material here. Um, but uh, overall, a pretty decent print. Let's take a look at the scorecard. All right, friends, and there you go. This has been the 2022 Canvas HQ uh, Canvas Print Shootout. And one thing that I neglected to point out earlier, which I had it sitting right here, but I didn't. I uh, overlooked it when I was jibber-jabbering. So one thing that these guys always do is they send these little handy-dandy. Now, I, well, you know what? I have used them before, uh, but I like the, the touch. I, I like the uh, the little, um, the little hammer, the little nubby, Ah, I knew I had one. Little things like this. These, This is kind of what I prefer to use. It's a little bit easier. These I find a little cumbersome, but still I like the little added touch. It comes with little uh, uh, very visual instructions that they put with it, but I needed to point that out. But anyways, this, uh, this review has come to a end. Hopefully this was uh, insightful, helpful, and gives you an idea if you order a print from these guys, what to expect. Now it's that time of the video where friends, I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff because it is oh so valuable to the channel. So if this review was helpful, or you just wanna do us a solid, hit that like button down below if you're currently not subscribed to the channel. Friend, what are you waiting for? We'd love to have you part of the family. And last but not least, so therefore you don't miss a single video like this one that you just watched, and perhaps some of the other subsequent videos that we're going to be coming out here with some of the other companies, make sure you hit that bell so therefore YouTube does its whole notification process and sends you a message letting you know that there's a new video waiting for you from us. That said, friends, I'm going to be shutting off my camera so you get out there, stay healthy, and find your best shot.